Hello guys, welcome to channel. So in today's video, we will be solving Elite Code Daily Question 1930 Unique Length 3 Palindromic Subsequence. So in th this question, the question statement is given a string as written the number of unique palindromes of length 3 that are a subsequence of S. So we have to return the palindromic strings of length 3 from this string and it should be subsequence of this string and there is condition note that even if there are multiple ways to obtain the same subsequence it is still counted only once so we have to take care that we does not mark the same palindromic subsequence two times we have to only take this consideration that it should be marked only in one time so the statement is a palindromic is a string that reads, reads the same forwards and backwards Mm, so, so the palindromic sum sequence is like a, a, b, a, which is same from backwards and front, and the a, a, a also is a subsequence, so, uh, a palindromic substring, because when we will read it from backwards, it will be a, 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 and we will when read it from front, it will be again a, a, and a. So this is a palindromic subsequence. So I will explain the easy approach which will be very effective and it will give very good result in this question so the uh, approach is that uh, if we have a string suppose like this so we will mark the first index of every character which has a same character at the end of the array means if in this string we can say that first index of a is at 0 and the last index of a is at end of the string so we will know that there is two characters with the same alphabet in this condition a this a will match with this a because we want to find the three length subsequence so this approach will work in this case because we have to find the size that string subsequence will be of a three length so we can say if we will match this character with this character so we will have two character so we will just have to put put any one character between them uh, so uh, suppose we will take this example so the in this example the question is a a b c a so we will mark uh, first a is at zero index then the there is two a's um, there is a more than one a in this case there are one two three a so we can choose multiple mul we can choose two a's and the na um, different um, characters can be put between them so in this case the first a is at zero and then it is at zero one two three four same for b there is no not more than one p so we cannot make this into a palindromic string because we have to minimum have to be length 3 so in this case only a has been appeared two times so we can use a how will you we will use a at 0 and 4 0 1 2 3 4 so a is at 0 and 4 so we can uh, take this a as a skeleton we can say that we will use 0th a at the uh, start of the subsequence and the last appearance of a at the end then it will be become two length subsequence now we will have to just put the uh, different characters or one similar between them suppose we can put a then it will become a a which is a three length palindrome we can put b which will be again palindrome we can put c which will be again palindrome of length say, three so the eff effectively question is asking for every character that appears more than one times we have to find how many different characters we can put between them so the effective question is for every character that is appearing more than once in this case a is appearing two times so we just have to find the number of different characters between them so in this case when we will choose this a, a and last appearance of a it will have different character a b c so the answer will become three so now we will code it we will mark an ordered map of care and pair of int int we will mark here the starting index of character and end index of character map then for int i is equal to 0 i is equal to s dot length i plus plus we will mark if map dot find s dot at i we means when we will first find a character that is not present in the map means it will be appearing first time so we will put map of that character dot first is equal to i 
now we will may we have marked the first appearance of the character at the pair's starting pair point now if that character is already present we will put at the second so it will mark end of that character at an uh, index which it has appeared last time so it will give us for a in this case it will give us a is equal to 0 4 so we will have character a at 0 and 4 first index and last index now we will be put a counter answer is equal to 0 then for auto at the rate pay of map we will now iterate our map and we will check if pair we will take here pair of int int it will be pair dot second now we have the index now we have the pair of starting index and ending so index of every character now we will check if pair p pair dot second now we will check if p dot second minus p dot first so in this case it will be for a we will uh, extract 0 and 4 then we will check if 4 minus 0 means p dot second minus p dot first if it is greater than 1 means there is more than 0 characters means there is 1 character 2 character then only we will check then we will check for, for int i is equal to p dot first plus 1 i is equal to less than p dot second and we will do i plus plus and we will check so in this case we are doing for this we will now iterate from we have first index of a character and last index then we will find the different character in this string from first index to third index in this case because zeroth index has a and fourth index has a so we will now find different character between them so that's why we are doing p dot first plus one or p dot second minus one and we will mark here unordered map to keep track of different characters that we have encountered so that we can consider it into map then we will check if m dot find s dot at i means first dot um, range elements if that element is equal to equal to m dot n means it, it does not has been included before means it is a new character so we can say we will plus plus answer and map map of s dot at i plus plus now we will know that this is not going to be used or if it is not uh, using first time means it is already been used so here we will mark it then we will not use it so we will now have the only different characters in the tree we fixed it we will be iterating our character position we will take the left position to be position dot first and then right if it is less than le one element we will continue else we will left plus one to right we will iterate the and find the unique character in that range and now we will run we will have unique uh, character in every starting and ending index then we can just plus in answer and then we can return it so it will work you can see it worked and it is the simplest answer that could be made and yeah you can see it is pretty effective so if you any have any doubts you can comment in comment section thanks for watching